by Gravel, the Libertarian Party nominated Bob Barr on Sunday, passing over the inimitable Mike Gravel, who earlier this year ran as a Democrat. Gravel said afterwards, quote, I just ended my political career. From 15 years old to now, my political career is over, and it's no big deal. But Gravel told me a while back that he's been hiding under a rock in all those years since he was a U.S. Senator from Alaska before just showing up last year to run for president. I can think what's more libertarian than turning to the people and say, you believe in freedom and liberty, and we believe in it so strongly, we're going to give you the same power the government has to make laws or to repeal laws. That's freedom. Now that's libertarian. I don't know a better, a better definition of libertarian. We are heading for the perfect storm. We're tanking economically. We're tanking government-wise. You just look around. We're failing. We're failing. And, and the Americans aren't used to failing. But we are. And, and so that has to be pointed out. And when you say, hey, whether I'm elected president or Obama or any one of my fellow candidates within the Libertarian Party, can't change that much. We really can't. That's the reason why when the American people understand what I'm talking about, that they are the ones that have to be in power. It's never been presented in the history of this country where a person runs for president or even a politician runs for office and says, I want to empower you, not just me. Because when politicians say, vote for me and I empower you, that's a bold-faced lie. Because what they do is they take their power and they write them a letter. And they're sitting in, their, in the big White House and with all the perks, and they don't care. As long as they can get the power. Well, the name of the game is not getting the power for the individual. The name of the game is to get the power for the American people, because that is the only group of people who will bring about a change in our society. I'm on no delusion. The, the agenda I have, which is a libertarian agenda, by and large, the Congress won't pass any of them. Won't pass any of them. And we don't have enough time to wait the 10, 12 years to get enough libertarians elected in Congress and in the Senate. But if we can get a president that can sneak through and become the chief executive of this country and begin to work with the American people to break the monopoly of the parties, treat all parties equally, I will not treat the Libertarian Party any more equally than the Green Party or other parties. Everybody's going to be treated. But you know what's going to happen? When you empower the American people, you're going to see the power of the parties diminish. And that's the power that the founding fathers fear with the power of actions. I feel deeply about war and violence and freedom and love. I think these are very important areas. That's the reason why I want to empower the American people. The answer is with the people. Representative government is broken, broken, broken. And all you're going to get out of the two major parties right now is just more of the same. You know, we all know that money is the corrupting influence of politics. What does it say? We're raising more money in this election cycle than it's ever been raised in American history. It must mean that our people running for office are more corrupt than we've ever seen before. And you know something? This is exactly what's going on. They are more corrupt than we've ever seen. And that's corrupt in a sense that they're sold out to the interest who will control our, who will continue to control our society. Is there someone that's going to carry the torch for the national initiative? Me. Until I die. You don't want to hand it off to somebody in the Oh, no, I'll hand it off to any young people that come in and do it. Oh, yeah. 